the various available measurement methods for determining thermal conductivity are many and varied. For clarity, they can be divided into two primary groups, transient and steady state measurement methods. When a material is heated locally, the temperature distribution within the specimen body changes until it is uniformly distributed and stable after a specific time. The phase shortly after the start of the heat input, during which the temperature distribution is still changing, is called the transient phase. When the temperature distribution is stable, it is called the steady state. Plate methods. Plate methods, such as the guarded hot plate, the heat flow meter, or the thermal interface material tester, belong to the steady state measurement methods. The material sample is placed between a heated and a cooled plate. This results in a temperature gradient and consequently in a heat flow through the sample, which is monitored until it approaches a constant final value. Knowing the sample thickness and the measured heat flux, the sample's thermal conductivity can be calculated. With the TIM tester, the thermal resistance under variable load or compression can be measured and from this, the thermal conductivity and the thermal contact resistance can be determined. Laser flash method. The laser flash method is a transient measurement method based on a patent from 1975. Despite its high cost and complexity, it is still widely used today, and for a good reason. With the laser flash method, Materials can be tested automatically even at extreme temperatures of up to 2,800 degrees Celsius. The sample disk is exposed on one side to a short, high-energy heat pulse from a laser or flash lamp for the measurement. The resulting temperature rise on the opposite side is recorded with an infrared detector. In relation to the sample thickness, the thermal diffusivity can thus be calculated using a mathematical thermal conductivity model. Heating wire methods. Hot wire and heating strip methods are widely used, for example, in the transient hot bridge method and also belong to the transient measurement methods. They can be found in various sensor configurations and offer the broadest possible range of applications and measurements. Embedded in a substrate, the heating wire emits a constant heat flux during the measurement, which causes a time-varying temperature distribution in the sample and the sensor itself. The temperature rise over time is measured by an integrated thermometer. Using that, the thermal transport properties of the material can be determined. Thermal conductivity at thin layers. In many high-tech products, Materials are applied to a substrate as layers, only a few micro or nanometers thick, where they perform specific functions. Two particular methods apply to thermal conductivity analysis, the time domain thermoreflectance and the three omega method. TDTR is similar to the laser flash method. A laser heats the sample locally. In three omega, the sample is applied to a chip and measured. Summary. Steady state measurement methods such as HFM and TIM tester are commonly used to measure low to moderately conductive materials such as insulation materials for buildings or thermally conductive pastes under actual process conditions. Advantages are the high accuracy and the simple evaluation of the measurement results. Disadvantages are long stabilization times. The laser flash and transient hot bridge methods are universal measurement tools. The THB is used mainly for manual measurements and temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius. The laser flash method is designed primarily for automated measurements and high temperature tests up to 2800 degrees Celsius. The TDTR method can be used on silicon wafers to develop high performance computer chips. 3 Omega is for instance used for organic semiconductors in liquid form to produce printable circuits or solar cells. 
Linzeis has the right tools for every task. We find the best way for your application.